A group of vocal Virginia parents are demanding answers from Fairfax County Public Schools tonight. They say Thomas Jefferson High School of Science and Technology delayed notifying students about National Merit Scholarship recognition, which cost them valuable opportunities like scholarships. Well, now Virginia's governor is calling on the attorney general to investigate. News 4's Walter Morris is in Alexandria, where the superintendent met with parents. What is happening? When Superintendent is it going to be on the Tuesday evening, Dr. Michelle Reed with Fairfax County Public Schools fielding questions from parents at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology after the school delayed notifying families about who had been recognized as a commended student by the National Merit Scholarship Program. The certificates were handed out late, and so the parents of the 261 commended scholars did receive a letter. For context, nationwide, about 1.5 million students take the PSAT or NMSQT, and the top 50,000 qualify for recognition. In September, about 34,000, more than two-thirds, received letters of commendation, and 16,000, one-third, with the highest scores are designated semifinalists for the National Merit Scholarship Program. For example, Liberty University here in Virginia offers commended students a four-year scholarship that is worth then $100,000. Asra Nomani's son graduated in 2021, and she says they were never notified that he was a commended student, costing them thousands of dollars in potential scholarships. Stop the sabotage. Say Mary. Now she and these other parents are demanding accountability. The school system and its administrators are lying. This is just the latest controversy for Thomas Jefferson. Nomani's organization, Coalition for TJ, taking the school board to court over a change in the school's admission process, leading to a long legal battle that's still playing out. Because I realized there was a war on merit happening. Tuesday, the governor weighing in, calling on the attorney general to investigate. In a statement, FCPS saying this was an isolated incident caused by human error, and it has a third party looking into it, adding, we are aware of Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin's comments today, and we share his desire to get to the facts surrounding the delay. To me, it's not that big of a deal. Well, some TJ parents like Megan Bruski wells say this has become more about politics and not the students. School is not about awards. The school is about an unbelievable education, and people I would hope are sending their kids here so they get that fabulous education. The superintendent says they will hold another meeting like this for parents once the results of that independent review are available. And the attorney general will address this issue Wednesday during a media briefing that's set for 11 a.m. In Alexandria, Walter Morris, News 4.